Bill Maher has written an article called Adulting, for which I have a link to in below. In it, he rather dismissed Stan Lee mere days after Stan Lee's death in incredibly poor taste and appropriately invoking the ire of the entire fanish world worldwide. And he accused people of being less than adult for reading comic books. Now, anybody in fandom knows Mars' argument is obviously specious. The place of science, I will say for me personally, in comics led me to adult science fiction at about age seven. And I read and I read and I still read the giants in both fields. To some extent, this inspired me to go on to a degree in computer science at a time, I always like to say, when the science part of it mattered. And then my generation and I built the internet. You're welcome. All of that started for me in comics. And as I said in my own video, thank you, Stan Lee. Beyond that, Stan Lee brought joy to the world on a global scale for which he will be remembered probably for centuries. All that Bill Maher has ever brought to the world is division and hatred, and he will not be remembered at all. Uh, Larry said, thanks for painting the picture of the TV culture, Star Wars phenomenon of the time. Yeah, thank I appreciate that. I, I do try to, you know, get it in context. Anyway, in his article, Marr is literally saying that young people are stupid, and Trump was elected, of course, he has to push that in there, because they refuse to grow up and stop reading comic books. He's dead wrong. The people aren't stupid, nor are they man-children. They're just uneducated. As I've said before on the show, I worked as an instructor at a junior college, the place that shall not be named, for three years. And when I was there, I smacked in the face with a very obvious problem, which is that our schools are churning out illiterate ignorami. And I'm not being uh, hyperbolic. I mean that we now have an entire generation and well into our second that cannot read nor write nor perform the most basic math. While I was there, the stories that I like to you know talk about, and I've talked about them before, my students had difficulty distinguishing between the words Linux and Linksys. Linux is spelled L-I-N-U-X. Linksys is spelled L-I-N-K-S-Y-S. That was not unusual. And there were lots of other words they couldn't distinguish. In one particularly memorable moment, I was uh, tutoring a student. Now, when you're an instructor, one of the things you really live for is when the light bulb goes on over the head. You really like that as an instructor because it makes you feel good. It makes you feel like you've done your job when a student is going, I don't get this, I don't get it. Oh, now I get it. And as an instructor, you go, good, good. I did my job right. The kid knows it. Awesome. In this case, when I was tutoring the student, the light bulb went on in a place that I really hated it. And that was when the student realized that books have page numbers, which told me instantly that in 12 years of compulsory, ed compulsory education, and certainly not rec recreationally, this student had never once cracked a book, and yet this student had been passed out of high school. Other things that go on in there, my most favorite anecdote is when it was just amazing, a student in what amounted to a remedial math class, because they don't teach any math in K-12, through got into a gigantic argument with his Ph.D.-level math instructor that division by zero was possible. He got into a giant argument with it, ended up storming out of the room, went straight to administration, and tried to file a grievance against the instructor on the basis that the instructor was Jewish. And utterly ridiculous. Uh, Larry says, Fantastic Four comics got me into the Marvel Universe in the 1960s. Yeah, yeah. Uh, comics have a ma massive influence on people, far beyond what Bill Maher thinks. But those are some of my anecdotes, and I've got lots of others. They're just the ones that I like to show because of the, not the biggest even, just memorable. What we have now is an educational system that teaches nothing but instead indoctrinates students to believe in socialist and communist philosophies that are absolutely dangerous and will lead to death. They churn out illiterate ignorami with no skills to survive in life. Now, whose fault is it? Well, 
It's the baby boomers and my generation. And to some extent, Bill Maher is more to blame than me personally. Whatever, regardless of whatever Bill Maher says, Bill Maher is a leftist who approves of this kind of indoctrination. Do not listen to him when he says he's a libertarian because he's clearly not. I'm a libertarian. I know one when I see one. He's a leftist who believes in some level of government involvement in some key aspects of individual lives. He believes in government that created this educational system that does not educate our young. Uh, Larry Larry says, as you said, schools today are prisons teaching nothing. Yes. In fact, there is now no way to salvage our schools. Because there are not even particularly literate teachers anymore. What they do not know would fill the Grand Canyon. They are near illiterate and certainly outright ignorami themselves, and so therefore cannot teach anything to anyone. What should be done is that all teachers from K through 12 and preferably through the PhD level professors should be summarily fired right now. And individuals within industries such as mine should be hired on an adjunct basis. We should be paid a small amount to leave our jobs for a couple of hours a day and teach K through 12 classes and possibly college. And to give you an example, here's what I personally can teach. I can teach reading through the college level. I can teach English composition to the third grade level. I stop there because I cannot diagram sentences. I can teach writing through the college level. I can teach American liter literature on the K through 12 level. I can do math through calculus, which by the way, should be available to advanced students in high schools. I can teach any IT subject, hardware through the college level and programming in various languages through the introductory level, and these should also be available in students. I can teach American history through the college level, world history through the middle, middle school level, civics through the college level, French through the college level. I can teach theater, stagecraft, acting, because I was once an actor, directing, and I can produce student productions through the K through 12 level. And believe it or not, I can also teach weightlifting with an emphasis on bodybuilding through the entire college level. And I am dead certain that employers would allow, would love to allow their educated employees to leave their jobs for a couple of hours a day because they need an educated workforce. Today, the only thing that a college graduate can reliably do is flip burgers. And they paid through the nose to get it. And there is another problem that is easily solved. The cost of education can be solved very easily because the reason tuition is so expensive is because the federal government guarantees it. That means that regardless of whether a student is capable of passing a course or has the money for an education, the federal government will pay the school. Colleges and universities will get the money regardless, and consequently they admit anyone at any price they choose to charge. If the responsibility for student loans was put back on the student as it was when I got my degrees, colleges and universities will admit only those who can pass and then they will lower tuition to fit what a student can reasonably pay. Larry Larry says, we started basic programming on a teletype terminal back in 1971. Yeah, yeah. I don't think they do anything. I mean, I don't know what they do with computers, but it can't be anything like teaching programming languages. Not really. You have to be able to read in the first place. So Bill Maher, in his stupid article, he doesn't see any of this. And he is in favor of continuing what we always have, indoctrination rather than education. This is why students are uneducated but not stupid. We will continue to get nothing but what we call NPCs or social justice warriors as long as the current system is allowed to stand. Marr is completely misguided and stupid because he doesn't understand the issue nor the problem nor its solution. 
QED. Ultimate power in this world has always been one simple thing, the control and manipulation of minds.